Hey, how's it going? It's John again. I'm going to play Immaculate Grid. Go for that low rarity score, but not before I also play a timed version. So I'm going to do both. I got in about a minute 15 in yesterday's game, and I think I got like a 14 for the rarity score when I played it again. It's a little bit tricky because I don't want to use anyone I used in the uh, timed round, the rarity round. So I got to come up with 18 names, but that shouldn't be too hard. Hopefully not too hard. We'll see how I do. I am going to start sharing. I guess now a days I share my screen because I need to also have the clock on there. So yeah, that's that's right. Clock is up there. Gonna hit refresh, start the clock, and let's go for it. All right, so got these guys. I know Mike Cameron works here. Uh, let's go, Mike Lowell over here. He'll definitely work. I'm gonna skip that one for a second. Julio Franco. Let's see, White Sox Gold Glove. How about Luis Aparicio? All right, Yankees Gold Glove. Derek Jeter won a whole bunch. Doesn't really deserve. It's okay. Uh, Bob Wickman will work here. That might be way too good, but that's life. Jay Bell down here. Clemente. And then let's see, Marlins and Pirates. Um, man, ah, uh, how's this one a stumper? I guess we're over a minute now. My my goal, I've I've, I've blown past my goal. Um. Man, no one's coming to mind. He stopped Choi. Do you ever play with the Pirates? That's that was the first example. Uh, Derek Lee will work, right? He briefly played for the Pirates. Nope, not shoot, wrong guy. That was close. Just come on, man. Spell your name like everybody else spells Derek. There it is. All right, so minute forty, not great. Rarity score eighty eight. Um, 76 choices. Uh, I'm not going to use AJ Burnett, but that is an that is one that works. Let me example this. 76 people. I'm going to work very hard to come up with a a second name. I got the first ones in under 50 seconds, though, right? Um, lots of options. So, uh, let's see. So, with that being said, we pull up our. Uh, let's see here. Let's stop, stop sharing for a second. Start sharing. It's probably the way to do it. I guess I don't need the clock for this one, so I can just do this. So this is yesterday's, and hit and refresh. So now we're taking the measured approach. We got our eighty-eight with the uh, not so measured approach of uh, just just going for it. Actually, Mike Cameron is probably one of the names I would lead off with. I forget how he did. Um, yeah. I believe Willie Banks, who I used yesterday, will also work here. 0 0.02. That's a pretty good start. Uh, this is one game for each team. Germany Schaefer. Even better than Bob Wickman. Ron Ballone would have been another good one. Lots of options. I'm just Lofton works, Justice works. There's a lot of a lot of options you can use, but I'm uh, I'm rocking a really good rarity score at least so far. Um, about uh, what's his name Squires? Yeah, I think him. He wins a gold glove in like 81 at first base. A Fleer card of him looking. He doesn't look like particularly athletic. He's in the field and he's like got his hands on his knees, but not like low like they're supposed to be. It looks like, a, you know, the little league player is not super into it. He's probably, probably it's not an actual shot. Probably it's a in between uh, pitches shot. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go Bobby Shantz over here. 
Let's see if he's caught on yet. Point three, starting to inch his way up. And then Yeah, you know what I think actually works here is Rick big Rick Ruchel. Yeah, he takes point two. I like that one just because he like the uh score baseball cards we just kept calling him fat every year. But he was athletic enough that he won a gold glove. So what are they now? Um and yeah, so, so Indians Pirates. Kenny Lofton will work. He'll work also for the White Sox, but Kenny Lofton is is a fine play for all the various teams he played for, except Cleveland. You don't want to play him with Cleveland. If it were White Sox and Pirates, I, I'd consider Kenny Lofton because he played a half season with both teams. Um, but if the Indians are involved, everyone knows Kenny Lofton played for the Indians. And then, uh, you know, the it's just a matter of, do you know this guy's career who's a fan favorite? Do you know his career pretty well or not? Um, but one guy who will work is Mr. 500 career batting average, Roberto Hernandez. Make sure you get the one who always played as Roberto Hernandez, not the former Fausto Carmona. He goes point three. So I'm a little above one right now. It's like I think trying to think of a really good I mean, White Sox and Indians, they go all the way back. She was Joe Jackson works. Um, early win will work. Uh, I think many Minoso he works. Um, shoot, who? What's his name? Uh, guy who hit uh four home runs in a game in 1948. He's in my book. It was the most clutch. For uh, Pat, is it Siri? That looks like him. Yeah. Wow, point zero zero two. So Pat Siri makes an appearance in my book because he had four home runs in a game uh, for the White Sox. He was traded from the Indians to the White Sox during the 1948 season, which is lousy timing for him because the Indians went on to win the 1948 World Series. Uh, the White Sox, I think, finished last or close to last. Um, and all in all, he had a pretty short career. Uh, he struck out a lot um, for a player in in, uh, in his era. Um, which is to say like 120 times, 130 times a year, I think. Um, but he had a, he had a decent power bat and one day he hit four home runs in a game. And not only that, but it was the most clutch four home run game of all time. And then spoiler alert. Uh, and this is actually like part of the intro to the book, but the least clutch four home run game was Mike Cameron, uh, who is who I played for the top left there. Anyway, I'm not going to play Mike Cameron again. Um, even though he, he was a, you could pick, I think, but can I, oh, I'm not going to want to interrupt there. Um, and then I, man, this one was a stumper. It took me 50 seconds to come up with one name. Apparently there's 75 more names. So I might just need to, uh, to buckle in and, and go around the horn and try to figure that one out. Um, Let's try, because he only played a half season or so with the White Sox. I'm going to pick Charles Johnson. Okay, he takes 3%. That, that's I, He only played, I think he was with the Orioles. He had a great 2000 season. Um, he's one of the best defensive catchers of his era. He's overshadowed by playing in the same, um, you know, at the same time as Ivan Rodriguez, but in the National League, he was the guy winning gold gloves at the same time Pudge was in the American League. And then he moved over to the American League. He played with uh, played with Baltimore for the 99 and into the 2000 seasons and then was dealt to Chicago. I think he ends up in Colorado at one point. Um, and maybe back with Florida. Um, but okay, 3%. He was on the 97 World Series team, so it's not surprising that he'd be uh, he'd be well-remembered. Um, and now let's see. Cameron Mabin seems like I think he might have played for both teams. 
but I'm not a hundred percent on that. Um, yeah, we already did. So AJ Burnett was the highest getter. He was, I think, around twenty percent, if I recall from before. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think of uh, some popular pirates. Um. Yeah, Jason Kendall, Aramis Ramirez, um, Jermaine Allensworth, uh, Tony Womack. It's not gonna work. Todd Ritchie, that's a guy. That's a baseball name. Uh, Giles never never played there. Uh, never played for the Marlins. Um. Kevin Young, I don't think ever plays for the Marlins. Warren Morris, I don't think ever plays for the Marlins. Um, Reggie Sanders is a great pick in this game, but I don't think he he would work here. It's got to be someone though. Let's let's go to the the Marlins World Championship teams and see if one of those guys. So Charles Johnson was the catcher. Derek Lee was uh actually Conine was the first baseman. Derek Lee. First baseman on the 03 team, uh, Castillo, Varus, Council. Um, Castillo's still around in 03. None of those guys are going to work. Uh, let's see, third base is Bobby Bonilla. He'll work. So that's an, that's an option, but it'll probably be a very popular one. Let's keep going. Renneria, no. Um, Moises Alou will work. Moises Alou. Seems like a popular pick as well, but he didn't. He only played one season for the Marlins, but it was that '97 season, and then he had his first career cup of coffee with the Pirates. So maybe people won't remember that too well. And you get Sheffield and right, Devon White in center, Alex Fernandez would have worked up here. Kevin Brown uh, are your pitchers, um, your your better starting pitchers. I think Tony Saunders is on that team. Rob Nen. Rob Nen, I don't think ever played for the Pirates. Uh, and on the 03 team, I hit Pudge Rodriguez, Lee Castillo. Third base is Mike Lowell. Shortstop, Alex Gonzalez, one of them. Left field, what? I guess Miguel Cabrera is playing a lot of left field. Center is Juan Pierre, and right field is Juan Encarnacion. With, uh, you got Burnett, you got Carl Pavano, you got Dontrell Willis. Brad Penny's in there. I don't think Brad Penny ever plays for Pittsburgh. So, all right, I've gone around the horn as much as I care to. I'm going to guess more Zulu. Cameron Mabin is calling to me, but I'm just not so sure. Zulu only takes 2%, so that was actually a pretty good guess. Um, Actually, White Sox and Marlins was... So I I did say these these two, and I mentioned Boney. I did not mention Marte. Was I right about Maven? No, I was not. I was going to get that wrong. Casey McGee. I love Casey McGee. He would have worked. Mark Redman. Ooh, my boy Ron Valone. I gotta I gotta look him up more. He clearly hits more teams than I uh, I remember. Francisco Cervelli. Brant Brown, I remember him dropping a ball back in 1998. All right. Well, I am going to call it there. Um, one minute 41 because this category stumped me, but I got there eventually. Um, and yeah, we'll be back at it tomorrow. Hope you like the banter on the book. And uh, have a good rest of your night and a happy Thanksgiving. Peace.